Howdy, folks. How's everybody doing today? Uh, in, out there in uh, in uh, hobby unboxed land, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, first of all welcome my uh, fellow uh, compatriots here, and uh, uh, welcome Russ. How you doing? All right. How's it going? Wonderful, and welcome, Mr. Rob Schuster. Hey, how's it going? And uh, Rob is a fellow CNCer with a lot of uh, interesting, um, fantastically interesting contraptions <laughs> that he is that he has built, uh, and and uh, and so he'll be showcasing. Well, he'll be showing a, a little, a couple of pictures he did of uh, some stuff, and we'll all be just uh, doing the usual show and tell chat. In the meantime, let me uh, start off by saying hello to our viewers. Uh, welcome, Mike. Uh, welcome. Welcome, Jason. Dave C., how's it going? Uh, let's see. Doo, 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 doo. Ed Newman, good to see you. Hey, Hitch, how's it going? Sally over at my house. Oh, well, welcome, Sally, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Hammond, how's it going? Welcome, Paul. Welcome, Marcello. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, Marcello. Oh, been Niagara while. Falls, Canada. It's a beautiful thing. And Big D, good to see you. Hey, Frankie, haven't seen you in a while also, so... Uh, Welcome, welcome. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, we shall uh, continue with our wonderful show here. And uh, so today's show is uh, is going to be uh, a show and tell. Uh, so we're going to start right off with, uh, with a few. Uh, I don't have many. And by the way, if you guys, by any chance, uh, have some items out there in the uh, in in television land, and uh, and you have some projects that you'd like to show, and uh, possibly a little uh, story, a little tale that you want to go with them, by all means, send them to. And let me just uh, I'll post it in the comments here. It's uh, Javi Unboxed at gmail.com and by the way i'd like to thank hitch for the uh, suggestion of getting a different email address just for uh, for the show I, you know sometimes common sense is the least common of the senses is often <laughs> it is in my bad. case if you ask my wife <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, so thanks again hitch for uh, and so hobby unbox the gmail.com go ahead and send me uh, some pictures if you got them and uh, and if i catch them by the end of the show i will uh, i will certainly show them off in the meantime let me look at uh, for my stuff and uh, by all means guys uh, you know feel free to chat amongst yourselves while i'm digging in here <laughs> I hope they send you some because I came empty handed today. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about what the show was going to be about. Eh, that's all right. We'll have a, I, I like to have one of these maybe every couple months, uh, one a month, one every couple months. Uh, yeah. Take after Dave Gatton because uh, yeah. he, he um, yeah, no, he always, uh, he always had a show and tell. And it was a good, I enjoyed the show and tells. I always enjoyed it. I did as well. That's, you got but a it, lot it's, of it's difficult because. While you always enjoy the show and tells, it's like pulling teeth to get people to send you stuff. I mean, is that the truth? Some people are very happy to share, and, and I'm very thankful. Um, mm -hmm. and, but some people are just, uh, you know, they, oh, I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it. And then when they get around to it, I know with Dave, it was, uh, uh, <laughs> they always got around to it during the show. And, uh, and, 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 well, he would rightly be pissed off because, mm -hmm. oh, shoot, did I send Dave a, hang on a second. Well, Glenn Helwig and uh, Bob Lee just joined us. Hang on, let me send Dave a link because I don't believe I, I think I forgot I've been sending links out. And, uh, hang on. Uh, and, uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, if you're coming, Dave, sorry I sent the link uh, so late. I'm just uh, clustered. Good to see you, Bob. It's wonderful to see Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob Lee out there is. Uh, one day we'll have Bob on the show, and and uh, I'll, I'll prepare him beforehand because uh, he, he's done uh, his little logo there has this car, and uh, I mean because this. Sure. 
this show's not just CNC, but mostly yeah. CNC. And uh, and uh, his uh, uh, he's done so many things with uh, with with that car. So there's a lot of people out there not only interested in woodworking but in mechanics as well. And uh, long gone yeah. are those days for me, but. Uh, but I can still enjoy looking at him. I'll tell you that. I That's still enjoy looking at him. I'm not crawling under any car now. <laughs> That's a couple of years ago. It was I had an old Triumph in the garage, and I had the CNC in the garage. There wasn't room for both, and I yep. I ended up choosing Thank the you. CNC, and the car's gone. <laughs> yep. And let's see here. Technical issues, uh, Mike. Uh, well, no, I'm just. Uh, I unlike uh, Dave prepares ahead of time and he throws everything in a folder so he's nice and prepared me I've got it scattered all over the cell uh, all over the place like kind of like my brain so <laughs> and uh, I've I've got the uh, the gmails up but uh, I want to I mean I've got the emails up I want to get the uh, some people sent me some through uh, messenger and I want to pull those up as well so I have everything ready and let's see here we go ryan ballard just joined us hello bud hey how's it going ryan good to hey. see you frankie says the price of wood is through the roof now and he's not lying he is not lying oh really um, yeah, my, my father-in-law just finished putting some uh, brand new uh, fencing up, and he said the pickets have, have doubled in price. Wow. From what they were after after the hurricane, they doubled in price. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so let me start off with, um, uh, let's see, let's start off, folks, with sharing the screen for one thing. I'm still looking for, I bought a stream deck and it's a fantastic piece of equipment, but I don't know where I put it. It typical. It's like I spend 150 bucks and then I lose it. <laughs> yeah. Jason said to always be uh, doubled in price too. Mm. All right. So here we have, uh, I believe, hang on a second. I believe it's uh, Paul Stewart. Yeah. Paul Stewart. Um, uh, some of his uh, his new shop, or, or I don't know when it was coming in, but his new shop. There it is. So that's half of it, uh, as you guys can see. And um, that's a nice size shop. Look at that. It's thing. a nice size shop. Look at that, guys. I mean, you know, it's uh, Russ was telling me a little earlier that uh, that he'd prefer uh, ordering one than building it. Uh, I <laughs> I'm a little of both. I'm I'm yeah, I'd love to build it. Uh, uh, but I, I mean, I, I do the concrete, but that's expensive yeah. too. So, you know, and then, uh, so there you go. The, uh, the inside that of the took shop me forever looks, to build that breast. Looks real nice. Looks that's real oak, nice. He said that's oak too. Ah, sweet, sweet. Yeah. So, so there's a, there's picture of his shop. That's nice door on the side and stuff. Let me tell you, that's, uh, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. And, uh, did they come in, uh, Paul, did they come and build it or, um, or did you? Um, did he have to put it together? Or did you have to put it together? Just uh, curiosity. I'm going to assume that they 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 put everything together for him. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Oh no, Mike is the one that answered. Paul, where is Paul? I know I saw him here earlier. Oh, Paul Stewart. Yeah. Um, so, and I don't have again. Uh, I'm a little delayed because uh, I don't have uh, YouTube up. I've I'm I'm seeing the comments on. Uh, you know, it's half a minute delay for YouTube, and then it'll take another half a minute to get to me on on Streamyard. So I apologize if I don't answer you guys right away. But uh, so mm -hmm. let me uh, let me go to the next one, which is. Uh, doo -doo 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 uh, that would be. Hey, Ma Paul said they assembled it on site. He didn't have to do a thing. Oh, sweet, sweet. Ah, that's outstanding, and that, that's a nice size shop. What What's the dimensions? Yep, that's that is a nice size shop. 
Okay, now I'm now I'm now I'm losing my mind because I know I have Mike sent me a few pictures and I'm trying to figure out where that put where I oh, put. Oh heck, my uh, Paul said it's twenty four by forty. Nice. There, that that's is a nice. Good size. That's a that's a darn good size. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, he might have sent them to me through. Oh, I know why. <laughs> what an idiot! I'm, I'm, I'm really losing it today, folks. But no it, comment, buddy. It's been one of those days. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Okay, now we'll get to the pictures because I was on the wrong email address. So, <laughs> so here's um. And share. All righty. And there we go. So this is uh, Mikey's shop, custom custom cabinets, CNC engraving. I I really like the um, I like the uh, I mean obviously it's 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 pine and it it's it's a it's a little rough you know if if you really were to break this thing apart it's uh, by the glare it's a little rough around the edges literally around the edges where a custom cabinet is. But uh, one thing I love about it is the uh, what's really cool is, well, obviously painting just brings everything out. But uh, look at where he put established, if you guys can see that, established 2003, okay, the middle there. Do you see? Here you go. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's that, a is that better? <laughs> So, so like I, like I, like I said, if you were to look at, if you were to look at this in the light, you know, come on, everybody's got those imperfections. That's no big deal. But this is a nice touch. It, yeah, it it's, it's, you can't. Uh, and he seems to be a computer guy because uh, he's got the uh, the the uh, zero lines for it. Zeros <laughs> at the lines because I, I know for the longest time I used to, I used to. Uh, uh, rail against people using regular zeros. That's not a zero. This is a zero. I <laughs> used yeah. to glide through it. But uh, back in those days. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like that a lot. I like having the uh, the established uh, on the uh, on there. And uh, here's another one. This is his obviously his uh, ARL and uh, uh, sign and uh, his call letters for ham radio. So uh North that, Carolina W four F E J. I am uh oops, hang on, uh trying to move it to the center here. He's having a hard time finding the, the stream, uh video and audio for some reason, but uh, uh who's that? Okay, hang on Mike, a second. The one you the one you're showing. Okay, Mike. Okay, let me ask you guys something. Is uh anybody else can see it, but he can't. Uh wait a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're up. Okay, Mike. Uh, uh, yeah, Mike. Hang on a second. Try reloading. He says he's got it now. Oh, okay. Then I'll stop typing. <laughs> <laughs> Martin All right. Yeah. Just joined there us. you go. There you go. Okay. So, so, uh, so we showed Mike's uh, second one there, and uh, and this is uh, oh, that's a real nice cabinet. I'm yeah. I'm assuming that's what you want us to see is a uh, nice little cabinet there. Is that uh, Mike also? This is Mike also. Let me mm -hmm. let me see if he's got any. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Okay, so the first one, yeah, I forgot to read the it helps if I actually read the. Okay, so the first one is here's my shop sign I did on a 31 inch Shapoko. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I've added several upgrades to the machine. I'm quite happy with the machine. The latest upgrade is a metal bed made of extruded aluminum, which is very rigid. I need to reinstall wasteboard. And hopefully today I'll have a couple signs waiting to get done. Oh, that's fantastic. So that was cool. the uh, Mikey sign that you guys saw. The second one is a um, obviously a ham, a ham radio operator sign. Half inch cherry. Um, there we go. So he made this one here from half inch cherry. I like that cherry. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Put a Danish shawl on that. 
I like that little, dance I, show I, on I, that chair. I, I, I'm a fan of satin finishes, but uh, right. okay. So the computer cabinet he made is from oak, and three pieces are held together with the shelving units. Uh, let me read that again. Hang on a second. The uh, and it's actually three pieces that are held together by shell by shelving using pocket screws if i ever decided to move yeah you could take it with me okay so so yeah so that's um that's a really nice looking cabinet i like the uh what did you do there the uh, good job on it what did you do for those uh, windows let me see uh, oh, that's interesting Bobby uh, Sam's and uh, Dennis Mills just joined us. Hey, Bobby, how's it going, Dennis? How's everything? So yeah, that's a that's a fantastic looking cabinet there. And uh, let's see what else we have. And Michael, of course, here's a 48 inch monster. Let me see. Here's the 48 inch monster that that will be driven by the Hobby Box number 46, which is soon to be uh, completed. Um, and I got another five orders uh, this week, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be busy on soldering with hobby next week. Uh, <laughs> Thirty-one inch Poco is actually sitting on the bed of the bigger machine. That's funny. Um, <laughs> the big guy's constructed with a wonderful eighty twenty system, which by eighty twenty ink. Okay, so you guys. Okay, that's sweet. Uh, so the, uh, let me take a look at that one. Oh, nice! Wow, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's that. That's a nice looking. That's a nice looking build. And so this is by eighty twenty ink is the place that sells the uh, the extruded aluminums and stuff. Um, if you could tell us a little more about that, love to hear it. Love to hear about that. That's uh, that's fantastic. You know, it's a uh, it's a uh, some really fancy looking uh, attachments there on the on the bottom here. This. Uh, this looks pretty cool. Is that uh, rack and pinion or? No, no. Well, no, let me see. I'm looking for. I don't see the. Uh... Oh no, no, no! Right here. It's it's you got okay. the, uh, you got the rails here. Okay, okay, I got it. You know, which yeah. means they probably got the. Uh, yeah, the motors are probably. Might just be one. Well, he might not have them on there yet. Uh, well, none of them are shown. Let's put it that way. So yeah. let me let me see if I got a better picture somewhere else. By the way, uh, Dave Clemens says he uh, he sent you some pics of his shop and office so far. Okay, sweet, sweet. I'll take a look at him now. It's set you for show and tell. Hope you had in mind. Yep, absolutely. That's exactly what I had in mind. I appreciate it. Um, here's a table I made. A table I made for a seamstress. I, I guess it's seamstress. It says seamstress. Out of black walnut, she uses two machines that are needed, one, and needed the table for the setup. The dark circle in the black is a dual one fit. And I apologize for not showing the picture while I'm reading, folks. I don't have a second monitor hooked up at the moment. Uh, I just bought a monstrous computer system. So I just dropped eight, eight Gs on a, on, a, on, a, on a nice new Mac. So uh, pretty soon I'll have something nicer set up. But anyway, the dark circle in the back is a dual... 115 volt port for four and and four charging stations for all her devices. So let's take a look at that picture. Ah, it's a nice uh, seamstress table. Mm. And you said you got the uh, charging port and everything in the back. Ah, that's a nice nice looking table. I'm curious if that lid raised up. I uh, see so you have two drawers there, but yeah, it I, might I, not. But from that yeah. picture, it kind of looks like it might raise up. It's possible. Yeah. Let's see here. And your current project is a 48 inch RC tugboat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to look nice. Can't wait to see that thing going on. You ain't kidding. That's going to be sweet. And uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, miss, uh, let's let let me let me drop. Uh, let me see. Is this uh, is this? Well, that's Hitch. There's a there's a photo of Hitch, and that's his current project, fishing. <laughs> 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 so uh, 
So uh, good to good to see you. Good to see you out and about on the on the water there, uh, Hitch. All right. So here we go. Uh, well, wait a second. Somebody said that they sent me one. Well, let me go on with Rob here. Rob, let me rather than reading this whole thing, let me just uh, start with the pictures, and uh, you go ahead and explain what they are. Okay. Uh, as ever, uh, maybe everyone doesn't know, I've got a a weird rotary machine that I make drums with, which is great for making drums, but to do other rotary projects, it's not good. So I built a uh, a four foot jaw chuck, and because the way my machine's built, I need a chuck on each side. So there's actually two chucks in there, and basically just that basic shape. I epoxied in some uh, threaded rod. There it is, a piece on both sides and a two by four. That's. Mm -hmm. And there's a drum machine. I mean, he 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 makes drums. It's not like it's not like a machine with 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 drum brakes or he no. makes drums with, with <laughs> snare drums. Yes, snare drums. It's a it's a fantastic. Uh, you know, the one of Dave Gatton's prior episodes has uh, has Rob featured. So you guys uh, might want to Google that and, and check out Dave's show with uh, with Rob. It's fantastic. It's. Uh, so it, yeah, a bunch of photos of the same thing there, just different angles, and mm -hmm. so far it's working good. I'm uh, yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I mean the way my machine is, I can't do a, a tailstock, right? So I had to have a a, a uh, chuck on each side, but it hold it clamps down nice and tight. And my other project, mm -hmm. um, always in the past I've had for a router table. I just I I bolted a, my old router to the bottom of a piece of plywood. Right, put on sawhorses and just use that. Which and that and that little thing that looks like a location finder for Google is your. Uh, yep, is, <laughs> is your plate. Yeah, there's a, the thumb hole and the router bit. So yep. pull it yep. back out. I love it. And then, then to the right, you see that little bolt there. Yeah. Oh, the next picture show. It. That's how I raise and lower it. Sweet. So I, Sweet. And the, the cool part, not cool. The, the weird part is. Uh huh. To find parts, I was I was really trying to figure out how I was going to build this. I had a bunch of expensive ideas in mind on how to do this, mm -hmm. and then it hit me. I rebuilt my Z axis a while back on my uh, my shoestring. We're going to call that machine I have, right? And I had an old Z axis laying around. And I thought, hey, that raises and lowers the router real easy. So yeah, I I just use that to, and there it is. Perfect. <laughs> oh, nice. So I, I just. Uh, Reused or uh, well, reclaimed, whatever the word is. Re repurposed. <laughs> yeah, repurposed. That's the right word. I repurposed that. and That's fantastic. So with not too much work, I got a, a really nice router lift out of this. Yeah, you, have a, you have a comment on your on your drums, oh, by the way. Compliment. Oh, I, yeah. Let's see what we got oh, here. Cool. cool. All right. So let me catch up on some of the comments myself before I continue here. Uh, it's a great sun. Da, 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 da. And uh, welcome, Bart. Uh, welcome, Glenn. Good to see you guys. Um, uh, Dennis is in Spartanburg. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, let's see. I see some. I see you. I uh, yeah. Okay. I got yeah. I um. I'm gonna go look at my email again and and upload it. And uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Can, can I hijack real quick for a second? Go ahead, go ahead, please. We mentioned drums, and I really like want to do some three D stuff wrapped around the drum. Mm -hmm. And I did oh, that yeah. once with a, a Celtic weave that was from um, Aspire Electric on the right. stuff. But all the clip art, or not clip art, three D art, mm -hmm. is it, has an aspect ratio like a regular picture. Mm -hmm. I've got a weird echo, so if I'm sounding I, funny, I'm I, sorry. I didn't hear an echo, so I'm good. It's just in my ear then. Yeah. But you, to wrap it on a drum, you need, well, like the shape I'm looking for needs to be like four inches tall and 40 inches long. Mm -hmm. And there's no 3D art that are out there I can buy that looks like that. So I'm just trying to figure out how, if anybody has uh, suggestions, how to find clip art that's that, you know, a, a landscape like that and all, mm -hmm. not landscape shies or something or. Of 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 the uh, Celtic uh, stuff. Well, no, the Celtic I have. Just okay. other things. I, okay. I want to do a dragon. That's what I really want to do. I think that's mm -hmm. would sell on a drum, rock and roll. And what are you the wrap the around yeah. the whole drum? Exactly. Holy crap! And I don't know how to find. I'm gonna have to pay somebody probably to make 3D art for me, and mm -hmm. I can 
do that, but I'm cheap. I'm really cheap. <laughs> and, <laughs> what are the dimensions again? Uh, like four or five inches tall, and then to wrap around it, um, about 40 inches by the time you... Okay. So we're looking at five by 40, roughly. Yeah. Yeah, and I just... I'm, I've got a few people have I posted on one of the sites out there somewhere looking for. So you're looking to make you're looking to make some some uh, really fancy carved relief or something on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, the question I have on that is uh, the um, the aspect ratios, because if you take an image that's certain size and you want to stretch it all the way around, it loses. It exactly. loses in the translation. Yeah, yeah. And so exactly. by, by stretching that, you you got to keep the top and 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 the, and the width, the the height and the, and the stretch has to be in balance with each other, or yep. you lose what you what you want to put on there. Yep. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Did I see something on uh, Aspire that, uh, and I haven't used it, so I don't know for sure what it is, but it was called wrapping. And I, I'm not exactly sure what that was for. Um, you, you, may be, was... You, may be, you may be thinking about the Aspire feature that that. Uh, um... it, said, it said wrapping, and that's all I can remember. What I never really delved into it. Oh well, well that's okay. that's what you do. Is what happens is you you uh, plug in your audio in the audio uh, plug in your computer. Uh huh. You you plug in a mic. Uh huh. Set it up here, and then you go to Aspire, and you click wrapping, and then you say, <laughs> "My name is Javi, and I like to rap." The only problem is I can't rhyme for nothing. Oh Lord, I thought he was going somewhere entirely with that. He threw me for a loop. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, Mike. Mike, is, says, sorry. Mike says uh, about that file you want is what yep. the SVG file. Does. Mike says Etsy for SVG files is for anything. So try try Etsy because they do have a lot of a uh, lot of stuff out there. By the way, good evening, uh, Stephen. I saw you uh, come in there. Uh, welcome. And uh, let's see. Jason says if you see an email from Ashley Pop, that's yep. That's uh, I will I will look at uh, them right now. Let me uh, let me do the uh, while well, you guys are uh, again. Chatting about uh, aspect. I would, ratios. I would Let, like uh, to see how that would work because of uh, I saw the one you you did already. That that one you I think you showed that one on Dave's show. The three D stuff that okay, you yeah, put I've on done, it. I've done one drum with true three D, and then a lot of them with with V carve V, yeah. v carving. Well, that's but, that's. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to how that would work because in my mind, that aspect ratio when you if you tried to stretch it. You would lose because you yeah. can't go higher to keep the balance, and that's uh, why I did that one with the uh, the free stuff from Vectric that comes with VCarve. Right. They had a very it's a border I think what I mm -hmm. used that Kelty design, but it was really wide, so it it worked fine for that. Okay, all right. So let me share some pictures of uh, of uh, Big D there uh, of his shop, which is a work in progress, and. Uh, his shop is a stick built 32 by 40 with a 9 by 22 office area, epoxy floors throughout, and a walkable attic. All uh, right. Full, full. That's a that's pretty much what I'm building. Except, well, mine's going to be 40 by 80, but I'm I'm working on making it bigger. Maybe. <laughs> Hang on a second. Here's a uh, here's a picture of Dave's shop. Uh, no, that's not what I want. That's what I want. And there. Um, and I like the sign. <laughs> wow, he's got it built on an angle. Yeah. <laughs> I see. It's I on the hill. Yeah, it's on the hill. I don't know how you're going to level those things. But... <laughs> <sighs> yep. So uh, let's see. The old the old uh, coffee maker. The, th these are the necessary staples. Toolbox, coffee maker, uh, and uh, and electricity. There's some. Um, He's missing one staple. I don't see the refrigerator. Well, some some people would say if you have coffee, you don't need a fridge. But you uh, know. I disagree. <laughs> uh, Jesse just joined us. Jesse's wood shop. JJ. Uh, somebody's watching Court TV there. 
<laughs> yeah, the stickers nice. of all his uh, favorite things. Let's see. Is I, that- I'm pretty sure there's a rule against having both Michigan and Michigan State on the same uh, countertop. Oh, I would say so. Oh, let me let's that's see. It's like that. Texas and Oklahoma. We don't do that. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. That's that's. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about these things. I'm a Trekkie, so I don't pay attention to sports. Well, I'm a Trekkie too, but I'm I'm a I'm a Longhorn fan, and Oklahoma don't fit. Hook 'em horns. My daughter went there. All right, good deal. I took some there. And so, yep. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, here's some. Uh, Mar- Marcello has some uh, lazy Susans. Uh, let me see. Hang on a second. Let me read what what the description is before I start. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, nice. here we go. Lazy Susans made from maple and man- mandala inlays. Uh, wow. Some, some are some are with stone and CA glue. And others are done with epoxy. Both methods were his first try. So this is uh, wow, they're that's good, fantastic. absolutely fantastic. Look at oh, nice, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, little uh, inlays. And those there. are all inlaid. Those are sweet. That is nice. Yeah, I like I like the idea of of see. That's one thing. I mean, that see, this is this this one is a perfect example. Of a great idea for CNCers, you, you you take a simple piece of wood, you carve a simple groove. Well, not so simple, but you you go watch Mark Lindsay's video on on mm-hmm. on rotating and 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 uh, and and come up with a nice little fancy snowflake or an inlay or anything like like some of these. Carve it and just fill it with epoxy and sand it. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it, it, it's. It's incredible. I mean, there a lot of work goes into it, but it's not like it's you know rocket science. It's woodworking. Yeah, it's but it looks thing. like rocket science, so that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks. And that's the beautiful thing. It looks, that looks like, sweet. It looks like something that's that's so incredibly different, and that's that's how it is. You know, we all try to break things ah, down. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Is that his also? I believe so. I mean, I'll double check right now, but uh, yeah, I believe it's 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 in his picture stream. So uh, let me make sure that's uh, let's see, dr- 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 might not be. Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Let's get a little. If does he have anything on there? Any writing? Oops, sorry about that. Hang on, let me. Uh, let me double check. I was very curious about uh, that little duck. I wanted to see how he got that in there. The Perkins Sanctuary. Does he have any writing? Where does he have any text to go along with the picture? Oh uh, no, he just. Uh, well, I'll I'll okay. look for it now. But this is a simple. It looks like a simple uh, V carve. V carve. You know, you, yeah. you can see that it's pocketed out. Okay. You know, very carefully, and obviously, these little um, looks like a loon, not so much a duck, but uh, uh, and. Um, that's gorgeous. For all I know, Perkins is not the name of a place, but the actual animal. It's a Perkins sanctuary. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I've never heard of a Perkins before, but uh, I'd probably be Perkins. But and then we got Mister Jason. Showing us the way. way. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way. The speaking of backyard bar. And see, they, again, I, this is another reason why I love uh, show and tells because it, it just sparks the mind and, and you go, you know what? I didn't never thought about uh, adding some stuff to my future new backyard grill. And, and, and I've seen it constantly 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 well now you know now i'll stick it on my list of stuff to do so i mean it's you know that is sweet yeah that's fantastic let's see we have drums Um, ah hitch has drums (laughs) (laughs) does he ever (laughs) ah what a trip so tell me hitch you got your part of a band um What's the what's the dealio with the Okay. It was a loon, by the way. It was a loon indeed. Ah, there he goes. Yes. Yes. And Marcello says uh that 
Perkins was the last name. Uh, okay, perfect, perfect. Let me see here. Uh, let me catch up on the uh, – and, uh, uh, yep, I'm very well aware. <laughs> I know, Frankie. I'm watching. That's why I was looking here at the time earlier. I'm at 8.37, and we're all looking forward to uh, – do a, another Dave Gatton show. Uh, he's on every Wednesday, by the way, folks. For those of you not uh, uh, wondering, where's Dave? Well, if anybody's wondering, where's Dave? Uh, they're not likely not here because they're watching. They're subscribed to Dave, and they're going to get a uh, an email from Dave. This isn't Dave's channel, so you know how would they know to come here? But uh, so all of you that come here from Dave know where he's at. So I'm rambling. Here we go. Uh, Hitch, uh, Hitch says he has a bunch of professional music buddies and an in-home studio for jams. Oh, that's fantastic. That that's is fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, I was. Uh, I play keyboards myself. And uh, in fact, they've been tucked away for about, I don't know, maybe. 10 years. No, no, not so long. I, I stopped playing at church about four years ago. I still go. I just stopped playing there. I used to play for, <laughs> I played at uh, my first, uh, before I got married, 18 years, I was in that choir. And then um, we got married, moved, had kids. About four years in between choirs, but then another, another 18 years in, <laughs> in the second choir and stuff so uh the first choir though I, I gotta i gotta tell you a story about the about the speaking of uh professional musicians here because now i'm at the uh i'm almost at the end of our our little show and tell here so i got some time the uh the let me tell you for those of you that have ever been in young adult groups uh or youth groups i mean it is a fantastic fantastic it's it's an experience that that I can't begin to to explain. You know, meeting the same group of friends once a week. You know, it's like having your your high school gang of friends and mm -hmm. and, and all this. But uh, you're you're already into an adult. It's close friendship. A lot of a lot of uh, similarities in, in culture, taste, interests, whatever. And uh, then choir comes along and. I'm I'm a little older. the The youth group days are gone. The peer, uh, the adult advisor youth youth group days are gone. And now I'm now I'm in my twenties. And then I I, I join a uh, uh, well early twenties. And I and I join a uh, a choir. And it is just it was like the 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 choir that I was a part of. We did. Christian folk music, and half the members looked like they belong in Woodstock. <laughs> it was, they look, in fact, they all what like kind Russ. of people? <laughs> they all look like Russ. So. <laughs> yeah, they all had that long hair. <laughs> and and fantastic, you know. All uh, you know, mm. we used to go camping all the time. Nature lovers, all and and uh, and uh, and it was it was fantastic. We had our retreats and our retreats were all of us going camping for a week <laughs> uh, one day we'd get around and sing songs and and pray and then the rest of the week it was it was you know just I remember those camping retreats. And all that. it was a family it was an extended family in fact when you guys ever see on on my regular weekly uh, on my on my daily or sometimes often daily uh soldering with hobby show you'll see zoom zoom squeak is one mm -hmm. of the uh, members he's one of my buddies from 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 those days uh, dan lives in illinois now and uh, uh he came from illinois moved to miami was lived in miami for 20 30 years I met him then moved back and uh yeah it's eh, good times good times but uh i'm telling you there's nothing like having the combination of a group of friends, and for those of you guys that are familiar with this, you, you know it to be true, a, a, a group of close friends with similar interests, combine that with the love of music and sharing the music together. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, it's 
it's it's it's hard to explain. Hard to I can't yeah, hard to beat, explain too. it. You know. Well, anyways, uh, yeah. And, and, well, we uh we understand most of it because we all we all do the same thing now with uh with uh, woodworking. Yeah, and that's and that's the point I was getting at. Is see, it's funny because it's funny how things kind of uh I don't want to say not history repeats itself, but but uh think when I got into I I uh, I got into I got into business and I uh, in 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 the business world through, through, throughout my life. And we're all parts of different groups. We're all parts mm -hmm. of, you know, there's our, our grade school friends, which I still keep in touch with many of them, my high school friends. And I still keep in touch with, with uh, many of them, my personal friends, uh, my neighborhood friends, my old friends from the old neighborhood, you know, the, uh, it, we all have different groups and, as we grow, we gain more groups if we go to different places. What happened with me in business was was just as fantastic as as when I was in 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 the choir and all that. I I was part of a group called BNI, which is Business Network International, which is a networking referral group. It was basically a bunch of business owners referring a bunch of business toward each other, but the whole concept of it was for any of you any of you familiar with it is givers gain in other words if you give you just just give because mm -hmm. if you give you get back it's the golden rule i mean mm -hmm. it's it's well the beautiful thing about it is everybody most of the members went in thinking this way and it promoted a very positive attitude it created in my little brain what was like an adult professional young adults group is what it felt like. It felt like a young, uh, a, 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 an adult professional young adults group. Then fast forward post 50 years old and I find myself in the YouTube and the woodworking community and lo and behold, naturally most woodworkers because the way we are are, are generous giving people. So, I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's, and, and, and again, we form this community here and, uh, and the beautiful thing about this community is, and I've said it before, and let me check on my time. Yeah, I've said it before, and I'll and I'll say it again, is that not only do we have similar kind of cultural uh, interests, but we share the one true thing that we enjoy is woodworking. Because I can, I can be here woodworking at home, and I'll talk to my choir buddies and one of them out of out of 30 will enjoy woodworking and uh, <laughs> one of them out of 30 will enjoy ham radio uh, for instance and you know we all have a, a, a plethora I'll use the word plethora of different tastes and different interests but when we actually join one of these communities um, and it's all about woodworking and we have such a passion for it particularly when we get older and have a lot more time to do it. It's, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. Let's see here. Um, in the seventies, he used to pra practice Led Zeppelin. See, see, I mean, there, there you got me. Uh, Cause <laughs> I will say this in the eighties, I used to practice Pat Benatar and, and Rolling Stones and stuff in the seventies. I used to listen to, <laughs> but I was way too young to be in a band for Led Zeppelin. Uh, mm. Well, 14, let's see, in 1979, I was 14. So, <laughs> so wow. it, you got me there, but, uh, <laughs> but that's about when I got my first drum set, about 78, 79. So, 78, 79, 70, I got my 79, first. 79, I'd already been back home from the Navy by then. <laughs> I got my you first. Must be, you must be young. Now, 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 here's the embarrassing part, okay? Here's the embarrassing part I will, I will share with you guys. In 19, uh, let's see, it was uh, fourth grade, so I would be nine years old. So it was uh, 1974, I got my first clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was that guy. <laughs> and in, in high school they I I went up to a bass clarinet. 
Now, I know one person in this woodworking community who will be behind me all the way as far as clarinetists, and that would be Becca, Becca Miller. Oh, her, yeah, yep. yeah. Because she is a bass clarinetist still to this day. And right. mine, mine is, it's still sitting there, but it hasn't been touched. Mike, Mike is saying, me too. What's he referring to? Oh, oh you you're a clarinet. Come on now, let's get it all out. Are you are you a clarinetist, Mike? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I love clarinetist. And the funny part was, uh, oh, what did you do in the Navy? What ships? Oh, I was on aircraft carrier, uh, U.S. Coral Sea. We had personal endorsement network in the nineties. Ah, okay, yeah, and, and I know they had. Uh, I, oops, sorry. Uh, in, in the nineties, yeah. Um, B and I was around in the nineties as well, uh, just beginning, and uh, and I know that uh, Toastmasters is something kind of similar. But all all these networking groups. Um, uh, my one daughter played bass clarinet until ninth grade. Ah, sweet. She wised up. Right. <laughs> yep, yep. My, uh, my, uh, yeah, that's when she started getting interested in boys. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Uh, she started <laughs> just getting interested in boys. He goes, I'm not going to pick any up with this thing. <laughs> or is that ah. guys interested in girls and I'm not going to pick any up? Well, I still played it throughout high school. Somehow I managed to, uh, to find one or two, uh, groupies. But, um, but yeah, it's funny because after high school, I got it, or actually during high school, I is when I started in the in the choir, and uh, I started by playing clarinet in the choir because because they said, "Oh, you play an instrument? Yeah, I'd love to join you guys." Oh yeah, no problem. And uh, and it turns out that uh, that lasted for about two weeks, and the director goes to me, "I heard you you also play keyboard." He goes, "Oh yeah, I dabble a little and stuff." He goes. We could really use a keyboardist, and 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 this is where I went out. I spent about two, three thousand dollars. I bought a Korg. I bought an amp. I bought a stand. I just went full blown, and I brought it in to the practice the following week. And then just I I was then I was the keyboardist uh, for for years and stuff. And um, but those were oh man. Great times, great times. And uh, I was on the Forestall. Forestall. Okay, tell me that. Oh, that's a uh, uh, Navy term? It, yeah, that's a Navy ship. It's another carrier, wow. yeah. It's another carrier. He was on the Forestall. I was on the Coral Sea. I did not know that. Well, I don't know any. He asked me what I, I did. The I only name I know is Enterprise as far as uh, ships. Oh, well, let me tell you something about that. And this is off topic, but you mentioned enterprise. Yeah, a few of the historical ones as well. Yeah, I uh, I used to uh, dock next to the enterprise when we pulled in to yeah. uh, to uh, San Francisco, actually Alameda. I would I docked we docked next to the enterprise. That was our berth, and I I walked out on our flight deck, and I looked all the way up. I can see the bottom of their flight deck. That, bit, that old ship was huge. Yeah, the Renner, the the Enterprise's razor blades now. Yeah, <laughs> true. So was mine. <laughs> and Jesse's dad was on the Lexington. Oh, that's a, that was an old one. That's a ways back. Yeah, that was a ways back. Check. Why is my uh, guys? Do me a favor. Remind me when it's like, uh, or or you guys out there, remind me when it's like eight fifty eight or. Oh no, I can see the times here. Uh, it's uh, for some reason or another my my I have to s scoot up my. Uh... It's fifty one now, so. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Just uh, watching the time here, but. Uh... Yeah, one of my coworkers on the Constellation or the Connie, oh. as he loves to call yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Same time period as yours, I think. Yeah, I was out there in the mid seventies, mid to late seventies. So uh, something I'll show because I always show it, and it's the same old. Thing that in this one of the last things I've done. <laughs> <laughs> it's here's 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 one thing I recommend to you guys. <laughs> whatever you do, whatever you do. Now, many of you know the story of the round to it. You know, oh, I'll do it when I get around to it. I do it when I get around to it. I'll do it when I get around to it. 
So I made myself, like many of us do, around to it. So now I have no more excuses. I got around to it. I have to do it. <laughs> Funny enough, or ironically enough, this is one of the last things that I've done. It seems that I just had other things to do as soon as I got around to it. I started getting around to everything except what I made the round to it for. So... I told my wife, whenever she asked me to get something done, I told her as soon as Javi sends me around to it, uh, I'll careful. get on it. Be careful. I'm going to get your address and send it <laughs> to your wife to give to you. Then, then you're in deep doo-doo. I mean. <laughs> I'm telling you. Zig Ziegler. Yep. Uh, but folks, so uh, let's see. Yep. I've made a few. Uh, Frankie's made a few of them for keychains. Yeah, I. I it, it's funny because I. Uh, I. Um, speaking of. Uh, oh, I think we. Uh, I don't he know, turned I his camera off. He, he, he might have muted it. He might have. Yeah. Uh, the. Uh, um, I was talking about BNI, and um, I was uh, quite active in in BNI so much so that my. Uh, Local franchise, the local franchise owner of BNI, who basically, uh, um, I mean, we're talking about a guy who has the influence of 1,200 business professionals, business owners in the community. And uh, I was, I, I was heavy duty into. I mean, this is how you earn business, folks. This is, this is how you. The, the the way to increase your sales is you network with people. You network, you you get it. You got to do the legwork. You can't just build a better mousetrap and people will beat a path to your door. It doesn't work that way. I, it's nice. It's a beautiful saying, but it's the most false saying in, in, in the world. Because mm -hmm. if you build a better mousetrap, they will be, there will be somebody number one, copying that mousetrap and then promoting it and branding it. And then they're the ones that are going to make the money just because you built it. Doesn't mean that you're going to uh, sell out of it, whatever the, the product is. So keep that in mind. If, if you guys are actually, uh, um, I mean, this is advice from one semi-retired professional who's looking at the retirement life, uh, to anyone out there, because I know most of you are also in the retired world, to any of you out there looking to to grow your business, um, it's all about legwork. It's all about sales. It has absolutely nothing to do with uh, passion or very little. It has very little to do with, uh, you know, do what you're passionate about. No, 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 no. That's, that's part of the solution. You know, incorporate what you're passionate about if you like. But remember, in business, to truly be successful, whatever you do, you're going to not like doing it at the end. So <laughs> if that happens to be what you're passionate about, that passion is going to go away. But uh, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely get out there. I, I got out there and uh, with my uh, with my uh, fervor and social butterfly ness i uh i i built my business considerably so much so that i we have categories that we're that we are locked into in bni in other words i'm a promotional products person as a or as a sign guy i was a sign guy for 12 years as a sign guy in bni i am the one sign guy in the group and there's only it's category specific group well when I built my business so successfully that I don't want to say I didn't need the group anymore, but it basically had momentum and ran on its own. And it, and at that point I basically what well, got gain another interest when it got into painting and, uh, and was a painting contractor and re upped as a painting contractor. I had all the connections. I, I, I had already done all the legwork. I, and I had all the, the, the relationships built and they knew from knowing me face to face that I had a background in construction. And so it was very easy to say, listen, now I'm representing this company. 
And guess what? I got a twofer because they still had me for for they still did use me for promotions, and then they then they used me for for uh, for painting. And I gained a lot of wonderful connections. And after a while, it was just not worth my time to be in the group because I was the the businesses ran themselves. While I was in that group, or when you're in any type of sales, uh, you do everything you can. Do everything you can. Um, and if you're in a social media kind of thing, spend pretty much 80 hours a week on social media spreading the word. Because if not, no one's going to hear about it. And it's got to be current. Next week, yeah. people will forget what they mm -hmm. heard last week. I've got a whole slew of instructional videos on CNC. Who's the expert? Mark Lindsay. He's current. He is an expert. And he's doing the videos over and over and over. Just because I did everything that he's done. Well, a, 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 a snippets of what he's done and, and have them in my log doesn't make me an expert. That's past history. you got to remember that the, the Internet has an extremely long and extremely short attention span. Uh, 58 short now. Memory. So, you know. 58 so there now. is that. And let's see here. We're coming up on 8.58, folks. So I'll be uh, shutting it down now and pretty soon and uh, heading over to uh, to watch Dave for a while. And uh, so thank you all for for uh, for going, uh, for coming. And I'll be going. <laughs> and let's see here. Ryan, I'll see you later. Uh, let's see. Oh, Battleship New Jersey. And uh, Big D, I'll catch you later. Hitch was a computer guy, as was I when I was younger. But uh, like I said, to, to finish off with that last story, uh, I got to the point where I got to know the uh, franchise owner. He basically inducted me on his director team. I got to be in charge of these 1,200 people along with him. I went up and uh, got everything paid for to go up to California to train where I gained a global marketplace. And I started and I got to know people from BNI's BNI is a global market. I got to know regional directors from India, from China, from from mm. all different uh, groups, and it was an incredible opportunity. Uh, um, and all because you put one foot forward in front of the other, and you and you do it. But now I'm older, and now I don't <laughs> feel like doing that anymore. <laughs> so, guys, good night. And thanks all for joining. Next week, eh, I'll come up with something. <laughs> See you guys.